Well, this isn't live, but uh, I am doing a video. Uh, YouTube changed some of their stuff, and I'm not able to find a feature that enables me to, to do it live. Uh, so I, I don't know what the problem is on that. Um, but we're just going to pretend. <laughs> uh, here's a live video. Um, I talked about yesterday uh, the Enneagram number nine. I uh, talked a little bit about it and uh, really kind of focused on some biblical examples of what an Enneagram 9 is. And I'm going to do the same today uh, with the Enneagram number 6. Uh, and there's particular reasons why I'm, I'm doing this number 6. Um, but I'll just go ahead and say that I'm more familiar with it uh, than, than other types. Um, on the Enneagram. Uh, so uh, I just want to begin by saying that there are a lot of good and a lot of uh, challenges uh, that that make up the the sixes. Um, I guess a couple words that you could um, use to, to summarize what motivates sixes are fear and loyalty. Uh, and trust, <laughs> and which is kind of an odd mixture, it seems like. Uh, you know, whenever we talk about relationships, um, trusting someone and fearing of, you know, the worst possible outcome may not seem to go hand in hand. Um, but for the sixes, it, it does. It does go hand in hand. Um, they are the worst case scenario thinkers. And so they uh, relay in, in their mind what things can can go wrong, uh, what things to look out for. Um, so uh, this causes them some anxiety, and they, they think about things, and they worry a lot about different things. But they are in the thinking triad. They are not in the uh, heart triad, which is interesting. Oftentimes, the worries uh, of sixes don't cause them uh, to be depressed, or to you know act out emotionally perhaps, uh, but they'll get real quiet uh, as they as they start thinking as they uh, weigh things out, uh, and so they are very inward in that way, you know, very you know logically minded and looking at how things can end up and what what problems to to look at, and so they're they're really a good soundboard uh, to talk to whenever you have. Uh, a decision to make uh, because they think about everything. Uh, they're the person on the plane that, that counts how many uh, seats are ahead of them to get to the exit. Uh, their motto is always be prepared and prepare for the worst. And, uh, you know, they're the ones that are always going to pack more uh, on, a, on a vacation trip. Um, uh, but they... If you are able to earn their trust, um, there there is no one better. I feel like uh, that that will stick with you uh, through thick and thin. Um, you know, when you have uh, a six that that trusts you, or you are a six that is trusting of others. Um, uh, a lot of the, the there, there's just a, a loyalty there, and it's hard to describe, um, but it actually comes out very well in describing uh, probably the most prominent six in all of Scripture, uh, which is Peter. Um, and I have this little book uh, which says that, that Peter is an example of a six. I looked up some two, and there's just these sources keep pointing to Peter. Um, and so he must, in the scriptures, if, if that's the case, uh, must be the example to go to. Um, you know, we, we notice that, that Peter had some faults, um, but Peter also had some incredible things about him, too. Um, he was the foremost among the disciples. Uh, he seemed to be the most loyal uh, to Jesus, um, and there's uh, in this article that I found uh, talking about sixes and Peter, uh, there are these questions that kind of help us think about 
the motivation of sixes uh, and what Peter does in response to those things. And so um, they go like, uh, so who was the first to confess true belief in who Jesus was? It was Peter. Um, he was trusting in that authority and he uh, was loyal to that authority. Uh, who played devil's advocate when Jesus told the disciples he was going to be killed? Uh, that was Peter. You know, uh, the devil's advocate is uh, because they're the, uh, they think things through and they think of all possible scenarios. Uh, they are kind of a devil's advocate. And so Peter, uh, you know, shares that quality. Who jumped out of the relatively safety, the relative safety of the boat, during the storm into certain terror of the raging sea in order to be near Jesus. That was Peter. Now, that shows uh, something very important about sixes. Because like nines, they care a lot about security. Um, nines uh, like their security. I guess a word that describes their security is peace. Uh, they don't want to be bothered. Uh, they don't want to be a bother to others. Uh, they don't like conflict, uh, and so that's their security. Um, the security uh, for uh, sixes is a little bit different, um, and they are willing to risk, um, you know, risk things uh, when it comes to uh, the loyalty that they have in others, um, and so uh, that shows that the. Um, the desire for Jesus, the loyalty to Jesus, was greater uh, for Peter than for his fear of the storm. And we see those fears overcome him as he does look at the storm, uh, and he begins to worry and, and to sink. Uh, who was the closest friend and confidant of Jesus? Peter. Uh, who was the leader of the disciples? Uh, he says Peter, but, you know, Jesus is... But, you know, Peter does go on. He teaches the first gospel sermon. Uh, he is kind of seen as this. Um, and there's, you know, James and John are seen in this way too. Uh, but he is seen as in a particular light. There's a reason why Paul talks, talks about opposing Peter to his face in Galatians chapter 2. Um, but who is willing to fight and die for Jesus? Peter. Uh, who chopped off Malachus's ear? <laughs> Uh, that was Peter. Um, uh, he had that that loyalty and that trust. Uh, now it's not to say that um, sixes are the only ones that can be loyal, uh, but uh, they have a particular uh, knack for that. That is a particular trait uh, that um, is uh, important for them because they desire uh, security. Uh, they create relationships that are, are founded in honesty and, and truth, and they uh, want to build those things up uh, so that they uh, can live in that relative security. Um, the conversation that Jesus and Peter had on the beach after the resurrection, um, three times Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? And three times Peter replied, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus responds to Peter's affirmation of love and is, is, is an instruction to take care of others. Jesus made it clear that he wasn't planning on sticking around a long time. He had to leave, but he promised that he would not leave them as orphans. Um, Jesus redirects Peter away from the single point of loyalty, and I'm, I'm reading from this, uh, to the group-oriented commitment. So instead of uh, Peter being only committed to Jesus, he then becomes loyal to the church. He, he becomes loyal to this uh, the movement, uh, the, the Christian movement. Um, and we can see that loyalty um, incredibly uh, displayed in the epistles of Peter, where he talks about suffering in the name of Christ. Um, I do want to read this about sixes, um, just to kind of share one final thought. Uh, sixes, you must know that you are stronger than you think. You are more capable than you think. 
We value your leadership, your loyalty, your commitment, and even your questions. You are the bedrock of our churches and families and organizations. Without you, we would all tend to simply drift apart from each other. You keep us grounded and secure. You help provide us with security uh, you so desire uh, for yourselves. Uh, and so that's, that's a great point, too. Uh, sixes, when they are committed to a group, uh, they are able to uh, really be a, a foundational person. Uh, they, you know, they, they don't rile up the wake you know, they are invested in uh, security for themselves, but they do so for others too. Um, but the message that they need to hear from the Lord is, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Uh, and so there's a lot more about sixes, um, uh, but I feel like that's just kind of a general introduction uh, maybe you find yourself, you are a six, and uh, you are, um, you know, wondering about uh, more of this stuff. And, you know, Logan and I, if you'll reach out, we can share with you lots of resources. Um, maybe if you know someone who's a six, you know, bear with the worries. Uh, be patient with them, uh, and and they'll be loyal to you. Uh, they will be uh and incredibly committed to you uh, if you're able to to bear with uh, the worries and, and help them uh, to navigate those things um, and to be understanding in that way um, so anyway uh, thanks for watching I hope you have a very blessed day